My next song is about Rosalind Franklin. Rosalind, Rosalind, what do you see? I see such tiny things clear as can be. Rosalind, tell us to what they compare. I see them twisted like a spiral stair. Now, Rosalind Franklin was the first person to take a X-ray diffraction image of DNA. Now, what does that mean? So we have to explain a few things for that. The first thing is, what is DNA? Um, well, DNA, which is something, is something which is found in, in, in all the, the tiny cells which make up our body, and it contains the information about who we are, everything about us, like the colour of our eyes, or uh, the colour of our hair, or um, the length of our nose, or things like this. And so that's what DNA is. And what's an X-ray diffraction pattern? Well, uh, what are X-rays? Well, um, the light that we see with is a type of wave. It's called electromagnetic radiation. It's a type of wave and there is a spectrum of waves. So, um, in other words, they can uh, those waves can have lots of different wavelengths. So, like a big wave or a little wave. And with coloured light, you see that in the colours of the rainbow. And the red light has longer waves, and the blue light has shorter waves. But the electromagnetic spectrum goes beyond the visible light that we can see and the very long wavelengths are called radio waves and the very short wavelengths and they're really really small are x-rays and beyond that gamma rays and because um, the atoms which make up a molecule are really, really small. You need really, really small wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation in order to see them. You couldn't use um, visible light, the sort of light that we, our eyes see. Um, you need light or electromagnetic radiation with, with, a, with, with a smaller wavelength, and X-rays have that. And they're small enough that um, when they pass through a crystal of DNA, the, they are scattered. And the way they are scattered, they make a pattern, um, depends on where the atoms are. And so that's, that explains what an X-ray diffraction pattern is. So once you have an X-ray diffraction pattern of something, then with a lot of complicated um, mathematics, you're able to work out what the structure of that is. And so she took the first image of um, the first X-ray diffraction pattern of the crystal structure of DNA. And therefore it was possible to work out what DNA looked like. And what it looks like is, it's called a double helix, and it's sort of like two spiral staircases twisted together. So that's what's talked about in the song. So there's a lot of explanation for that one, but I hope that makes some sense. So here's the song again. Rosalind, Rosalind, what do you see? I see such tiny things clear as can be. Rosalind, tell us to what they compare. I see them twisted like a spiral stair.